um, some um, findings have come out of the of the of the committee's work, um, and now it's going to the disciplinary committee. We are looking forward that sanctions that are according to what they have done are given to them, so that it serves as a deterrent to any other person who decides to go that way. We want to show an example to the world that something has been done about this. It's not just the usual talk that we have. People here, there's a committee and something, and then we had um, a meeting, and then a report was launched, and we don't even hear about the report. Now we've heard the outcome. We want to see practical sanctions that would help us ensure that nobody goes that way again, that people see that the systems work, that when we say that there's a system, that it works. I think um, it was quite slow, and some of us are losing out on the process. I think that if it was faster, it would have helped us be very confident that once something is mentioned, people take action fast and show that they really, really value the situation. If we go the very slow way, now we lose it. You would recognize that many people do not report incidents of sex and rape because they don't trust the system. If we build a system that people know that if I report, my identity will be protected, I'll be given the psychological and social support that I need, I'll be giving the medical support that I need, people will continue reporting. It will not hide these issues of rape and sexual violence against them.